to another day um so today i got up and fixed justin's lunch which hasn't been happening very much since little guy came along um y'all know if you've been around for a while i used to do that every single morning and we'll get back there um it just it just depends on how the morning's going <laughs> these days uh but justin has a lot of stuff at work some freezer meals and soups and waters and stuff so if i don't pack his lunch he's got stuff there to eat he's gone out to eat with some people he works with some too so anyway I did get up and pack his lunch and make his coffee this morning. Huddy helped me make his coffee for him. And he's gone to work. We thought we'd take you through the day with us. Um, show you what life is like with a newborn. Wyatt turned three weeks old yesterday. Time is flying by. And we've got, um, I don't want to say a lot going on today. I don't think we talked about Audrey getting her braces. But the day after Wyatt was born, she went. My mom took her because we were at the hospital. And she got expanders put on the top and bottom, and then she got braces on the front in the top and bottom. And we've been turning her expanders, but we're finished with that. I guess we'll find out today if we need to keep doing that or if, if they're good or whatever. So we've got to go to the orthodontist after a while. We'll take you along with us and just kind of show you what our days are looking like right now. The boys just fixed them some cereal. And baby boy has been fed. He may need his diaper changed again. We'll check on that. But yeah, we're going to just go through the day and bring you along with us.
Love you. Hey, you want to grab the diaper and throw it away for me? Okay. Love me, Mama. I love you, honey buddy. I love you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. Hey, sweet boy. Hey, sweet boy. Hey. Wyatt has already eaten. He ate. I guess I fed him about, was it an hour ago? I nursed him about an hour ago, and he's still acting hungry. So I'm going to um, fix him a little bit of a bottle, and then I'm going to go ahead and get some of the breast milk that I have in the refrigerator put in the freezer, too. So I'm going to warm this up for him, and while it's warming up, we'll get that in the freezer. Love you, baby. Love you. So I've definitely been blessed with plenty of milk. And I think I've already got like a, what do I have? A hundred and about 180 ounces in the freezer. So we're going to add this to it. and think why well, spend too much time just getting ready let me be honest i don't know one single thing that i haven't done to make you notice me let me be real here when i see you my heart starts racing but i don't know if i like this chasing and playing and waiting around it's a shame that my hands start shaking doesn't get just a ton of bottles usually I just nurse him but every once in a while we give him a bottle and it does help for Justin <laughs> to be able to feed him every once in a while too and since I've got plenty of milk in the freezer and the refrigerator it just works out and he's done great taking a bottle he's done great nursing he's not a huge fan of a passy which is fine but uh every once in a while we give him a bottle not too often but every now and then, and he seems to do just fine with it. We've made it to Audrey's orthodontist appointment. We're still sitting here waiting on them to say that she can come in, but we're here. I fed Wyatt right before we left. Well, not right before we left. I fed him. He spit up. I had to change his clothes. And then he fell asleep long enough for me to get ready. I put on a little bit of makeup. And it was raining and just kind of yucky when we left the house or right before we left. So I wanted to put a sweater on and be cozy. But the sun is starting to shine again. So we're just going to sit here and wait on them to say that she can come in. He napped. He, he slept the whole way here. It takes us about 45 minutes to get here. And he slept the whole way here. He's starting to wake up just a little bit. But this was the first time he fell asleep today. Usually, so he woke up around 7 this morning. And usually he'll go back to sleep around 10. But he waited until a little bit before 12 to fall asleep. So if he wants to nap, I'm going to let him nap. Um, but anyway, we just got to wait on them to say that she can come in. Uh, there they are. I just buzzed. I think, I think they're ready for her. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Hi, cutie. Now, I have that other hole right there. Why? 
Bella. Okay. So we are done with Aldrey's orthodontist appointment. It didn't take very long at all. They said that she needed to, we needed to turn her expanders for 14 more days and then come back again. So that's what we're going to do. The big kids love going in the grocery store. So that's what they're doing right now. They have run in to get um, a couple of things that we needed to go with our supper. So let's see if they get, every, get everything we need. It's just one or two things. Baby boy has, well, he was crying a little bit. He is waking up. Thank goodness we're almost home. And here comes my big kids with what we need. So we're going to head on home and get this baby fed and changed and happy again. I've taught them well. <laughs> they came back. I had asked them to get some bottles of water. And they said that these were on sale. And you could get two cases for the same price as one of the others. So that's what they did. Smart kiddos. When we got home, this little guy stayed asleep long enough for me to do a quick little cleaning on our bathroom. That was something I wanted to get done today. Um, it didn't take me 10 minutes, but I got it done and then got this baby fed. I could sit here and hold this little boy's hand and stare at him all day. I was getting this ready, so I thought I would go ahead and show y'all. Every afternoon, I get this ready for night time. And I had just a second, so I went ahead and got it all situated. So, I always keep my bottle of water right here. And my haka is either here or in this basket. I don't use it every time I feed him. But if he sleeps for like, say, four hours or more, um, I'll use that while I feed him. And then I make sure there's plenty of diapers. Bless you, baby. Bless you. And wipes. And, like, everything that I need. In the middle of the night. Did I say my water bottle? I think I did. That way everything we need is right here and then I take this when we start to go to bed and pull it over beside the bed so that he can sleep here. I take some of this stuff off and then up underneath there's an extra outfit, an extra blanket, and an extra burp cloth because we're bound to need those at some point in the middle of the night too on a lot of nights so all of that's ready to go and just having everything ready makes night time and bedtime a lot easier some of y'all have also asked about how the other kids were doing with Wyatt being here especially Huddy considering he's not the baby anymore and they are doing fantastic they all love love their little brother and Huddy is like a little protector anytime Wyatt whines or cries he comes running to figure out what's going on um, they all just love him to pieces and have adjusted so well to having a new little baby and house Audrey is actually right here with him now They've been talking to him and loving on him. Oh, his hair's a little crazy. It's all right. all right. I think in just a minute, I'm going to go ahead and put a, put my wrap on and just wear him while we cook supper. And I think I'm actually going to go ahead and end this vlog here. We're just going to cook supper, go about bath time routines, and start getting ready to settle down for the afternoon. Thank y'all for coming with us throughout the day. We love you guys. We appreciate you. And we are so happy to have you as part of our family around here. If you're not subscribed, if you're not already one of us, hit that button before you leave. We'd love to have you. And we will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.